welcome back to Starfield. I'm trying to finish it up here. We're trying to get hooked up with Andresia. She wanted time to think about it, so I just took her with me to go kill somebody. Then we didn't get to kill him because apparently his own men killed him. So now we had to wait for her to decide what was best for the commitment. Let's do a little rest here quickly. sometime soon <laughs> okay so let me uh I'm gonna take my suit off I don't know if I need it where we're going but and I put my uh, my nice suit on all right so we're gonna go to Shoza 2 which we have been there because I see it's got an explored. There's a covered crater. There's an abandoned outpost, which this one here is a science place explored. So we have been here. Let's go right to where she wants to go. That means I didn't have to fight anybody on the way there, which is always good. I should have checked the atmosphere first before I did this in case it dumps me outside the ship, which it may very well do that. <clears throat> and it did. Let's check the atmosphere here. Temperate. Okay, so we can survive here. Um, but I want daylight. Why can't I just do it in daylight? Come on, game. Where's the ship? And where's Andresia? Right there. It's kinda cool looking though, isn't it? How far away is the ship? Oh wait, I can go through here, there's a tunnel. So, oh wait, that's where we wanna go. We don't wanna go there just yet. Where the hell's the ship at? Okay. The covered crater. So how far did it drop us from the ship? Or uh, do I even have a ship here? <laughs> ah, come on, game. Really? There's a lot of places here to discover. Alright, let's... Uh oh, there's a bug. I don't like the looks of that guy. He's only a level 15. Let's, um... Where is the frickin' ship at? It's down here. I haven't discovered this yet, have I? It says explored. Okay, let's go back to the ship and get some daylight going. Hopefully I can take out a giant frickin' praying mantis without my spacesuit on. Well, let's go get some more comfort. Said you want to go back to bed soon. Well, let's do it. I'm willing to please. All right, so let's get some time going here. It's 7:30. Well, it says 7:30 in the morning. It says 7:24 a.m. So, is this a moon? If it's a moon, it may not have a lot of sunshine. It's not a moon. Let's see where it's at. Okay. Okay. I don't really know why it's dark. I guess it's lighting up. All right, let's go back outside. I wanted to see the place in the daylight. That's so much to ask for my wedding. I guess maybe this is as much light as it gets because of all the really cool flowers here. Huh. Why 
does it sound like there's something really big walking around? Alright, let's just fast travel order. We can do that. We want to go here. It says explored. Let's go. Alright, we're heading right here. There's a little bug. Let's not deal with him. We might have to deal with somebody though. Talk to Andresia. Okay, so this is it. Uh, this is where she wants to be. In a cave. Alright, let me get up here because I guess, oh, this must be the altar. <laughs> there is little I can offer to show you how much I care, how much you mean to me. Whatever House Varun deems proper could not work because you are not House Varun. And whatever marriage traditions you might have would not be appropriate for me. Hmm. So the banquet hall I booked, guess I'm not getting my deposit back. I don't need a ceremony or party or anything else. I have you. And I love you for feeling that way. But I did think of something. This place, where we stand now, is the first place I was brought upon leaving my city, Dasra. The first time I had ever left my home planet. As you know, I was never allowed to know the way back home. That frightened me. But at the same time, I was suddenly aware of not just one planet, but a whole universe I had never seen. Universes. I had not experienced again. Well, systems, I guess. That's a lot to live up to. This must have that must have been a very emotional time for you. Nothing in my life had truly prepared me for that moment. Just as nothing could ever have prepared me for you. But there is more. Buried here is something of great value to me. Something I wish you to have. It's best, I think, if you are the one to retrieve it. Find the gift. Okay. I have to dig. Andrea's commitment. Okay, what do I get? Is it a thing? Like in my miscellaneous lift or something? Or is it under new stuff, new items? Nice! Nice, that's really awesome. Thanks, dear. Appreciate it. A little toenail from a bug. <laughs> I guess she'll tell me all about this, okay? Guess that's better than a ring, huh? Back on the rock. Hold in your hands the most treasured item I could give you. Okay, that's what you all you got, huh, girl? I knew you like knives, but this is something else. I've never seen anything like this. I don't understand. What is what I don't understand what this is. I would hope you recognize a dagger when you see one. I know. It looks like a dagger. This requires some explanation. In yes. In creature, every child is entrusted with a pet groat. They are what? domesticated creatures native to my planet. Smelly, cantankerous, but their milk is a staple of our diet. We raise the grape, okay. we care for it, we milk it. And when we come of age, we slaughter the groat and fashion its skull into a dagger. That's intense. I, you turned your childhood pet into a weapon. <laughs> It's it a lesson. Through this mm. growth, we are shown the connection that we have to the great serpent. That all things serve the serpent and can be tools for his use in more ways than one. Okay. That's a hell of a way to make a point. I'm still stuck on turning its skull into a weapon. 
So this is incredibly personal to you. Let's go with that one. I am glad that you can appreciate that. Every member of House Varun has a dagger like this. We are instructed to keep them at our side at all times. Mm, but you buried yours. Always with us. As is the danger of those who defy and oppose him. But that mm. constant connection to the Great Serpent is a liability to those of us sent out into the settled systems. So when we first leave our home, we hide it. Burying it here was one more way of going undercover. This would definitely be difficult to explain to New Atlanta security. You should be proud of who you are, you should not hide it. I have always been. But my mission dictated that my origins remain concealed. So for years, this dagger has remained buried here, hidden from the world. But now, I believe you should have it. Hmm. With it, I hope you can understand that I trust you completely. That I know you will care for this the way you care for me. And that we are connected in a way that is now truly unique in the settled systems. In all of creation, I love you and I am yours. Wholly and completely. Thank you for this. I will cherish it always. I don't have a skull dagger, but my heart is yours. <laughs> this year beats a boring wedding ceremony. You are very not really. Welcome, and I know that you will. I would not have brought you here otherwise. Hmm. Ooh, now, surely there is some other grand adventure that awaits us. We should go and meet it head on. And Treasure considers you a committed partner. And it should pops up too fast. I can't see. All right, so I think, man, all that shit pops up too fast. I have no idea what it all said. There was all this shit popping up, and this and this. She's a, com I'm a committed partner now. Return to the unity. Let's um, one giant leap. I have uh, let's go on a honeymoon. Oops, can't go there. I want to back out. That's what I want to do. Let's see if we can find Paradiso and go on a honeymoon real quick, you know? Because that's what you should do. If I can just remember. Let's see. We can do this. Where is Alpha Centauri? This thing was right over here somewhere. Paramore system? Paramore, Paramore, Paramore. Even with all the names, it's a little difficult to find something. There's Alpha Centauri. Perina? It's not Perina. Perima. Por no, is that? Maybe that's it. I think this is it. Let's go here. Here. Could be here. Let's go here. Let's go here. Maybe we'll get there and it'll be daylight. I guess you could rent one of them little beach chalets they have there. Uh, that's, that's the ideal thing to do. If you need to harvest any organic materials, now would be the time. Okay, there's my ship. Uh, let's, um, hell, I don't even know which way to go here. It's been a long time since I've been here. I 
don't know which way the beach was. But let's go see. Again, we're just messing around. Let's go down to the hotel. <clears throat> I can see why this location was chosen for a resort. Very nice. Pretty awesome, eh? Pretty awesome. Paradiso, this is the beach this way, isn't it? Got a chunks here. <laughs> That's pretty high end, huh? Let's go see if we can steal ourselves a couple big a couple bathing suits. I believe. Is there people in there? I'll find an empty one. Yeah, same guys. They've been here the whole time. Resort wear. I don't know what resort wear is. There's a swimsuit. Maybe a couple of them, though. Let's go see if we can rent no a place on the beach. A while. Let's hope it stays that way. Gotta have a bathing suit if you're on the beach, right? So let's go see what they say in here. Do a quick save here. Uh I cannot just check in ever having the time, let alone the funds, for a vacation someplace like this. Come on, dude, talk to me here. What do we got going? Can't go I that wish way. I had booked to stay for longer. To talk to this dude. Another lost belonging notification in the system. When am I going to find the time? Oh dear, a guest. Dreadfully sorry you had to hear my complaint. How unprofessional of me. Hello, welcome to Paradiso. Dark Huddleston at your service. Do you need assistance <laughs> checking in for your reservation? I don't have a reservation. Um, manipulation. Sure, my name is Star Screamer, and I'm here to check in for my stay here. Well, let's do that. Yeah, I can, I can lie, manipulate him. Sure, oh, why not? That's odd. I'm not seeing it here in our system. Seriously, I'm dude. extremely sorry for any inconvenience this has caused. It appears all of our premium suites are booked, but I am prepared to make this right for you. I'll credit your account with a 20% discount on this or your next stay. There. Right as rain now. All right. So, I need a room. Let's do this. One of our deluxe suites just opened up. I'd be happy to accommodate you. Are you looking for the sure, daily rate or the more economical weekly booking rate? Uh, sure, we'll go with one week, man. We're on a honeymoon. Visit your rented room. All right, let's go this way. This is even better than in the brochure. Come on, girl. Bring it. Let's see if there's a deluxe suites. See if there's some swimsuits up here. If not, man, we gotta go steal some swimsuits. Here, this one. Nice place. That patio. <clears throat> ah, there's the beach. Nice. Very nice. Only 1,400 credits for a week, huh? That's pretty cheap, really. Let's see uh, if we have any... All kinds of crap in here, eh? This looks just like my freaking apartment. Pretty close. Uh, not, really, not quite, but... My apartment in New Atlantis looks really close to this. Except mine has no frickin' furniture. It is. It's identical. So I guess they don't have a lot of uh, 
apartments modeled, do they? This is the shower. Alright, so we're gonna have to go steal some bathing suits. Because I don't see any here. We got towels. So this is my bed. We can sleep. Uh, what time is it? 6.55. Let's sleep for... Ah, let's just sleep for an hour. <clears throat> Last night was enlightening. You wake for Phil. Auto saving. Uh, learn more next time. Okay, why don't you wait here? My day is suddenly much improved. How about that? Let's wait here for a moment. Of course, take your time. I'm gonna get us some swimsuits so we can go down to the beach. Because I can be sneakier by myself. Put on my little stealth outfit. Where's the... This is how we get out. So. There are two places here. Are these guys inside here? Or did they take off to go to the beach? They took off. Detected by something, though. Nobody's here, right? Let's get a swimsuit. Okay, we got one swimsuit. We need two swimsuits. Good day, officer. There's only two little beach resort things out here, eh? This one's huge. Man, she's wearing hers, eh? <clears throat> no one's going to care if I call out sick from work for another week, right? Nope, you guys leaving? Don't mind me. Let's do a little recon stim, too. Bunch of that because she's 36 of those. Okay. Thank you. All right, we can get into our swimsuits now and go for a swim. Yeah, like I said, I'm going to. Uh, I'm gonna do a little bit of. I'm gonna delve into the shipbuilding thing. You know, in, in this game, shipbuilding seems to be like settlement building and Fallout 4. I mean, you could build your own outpost here, but it's just, I don't know. Outposts don't cut it, it doesn't seem like, to me anyway. <clears throat> there is the deluxe penthouse suite. Hey, I clipped us a couple. I mean, I bought a couple of uh, swimsuits. Hello, love. Let's try I something. have never been one to shy away from shouldering my share of a heavy load. Oh, this is going to be a light load. Two swimsuits. Give her one. Okay. Will she put it on? If it's stolen? Andresia, apparel. Can I equip this? Equip. 
Hmm, I'm there sorry you go. to see you go. Very nice. Well, I'm going to put mine on, too. We're going to go for a swim. Nice. With my gun. Awesome. All right, well, let's talk to her. Can I do that? Kind of hard to do that here, isn't it? Man, third person is a little tough. I haven't done that there yet. There is uh, no one I would rather see right now. Let's get moving. I will watch your back. <laughs> I want to watch yours. You first. All right, let's go down to the beach. I have not done third person in this yet. This is going to be weird. I don't like third person in Bethesda games anyway. I know a lot of people do, but I don't. I mean, Skyrim's not bad. Third person in Fallout is really nice when you have to look around a corner. You're doing melee? Third person works really well. Now, I wonder how photo mode goes. What is my... What's on my... Oh, one giant leap. Let's get rid of that. If I could figure out how photo mode works, we'll take a picture of ourselves on the beach. Do a selfie. Yeah, like right here, maybe. Let's go down to the beach. We'll do it down at the beach. Come on. Don't worry about us. We're just here. Everybody has the same swimsuits, huh? Here we go. I never tired nice... of seeing beaches on almost any planet. That uh, looks like a nice little place down here with an umbrella. Is there anybody there? Will she sit down if I sit down? Let's see. Nah, she's not gonna, is she? Alright, let's get up. Let's just get us a picture on the beach. <laughs> if I can walk. Right, how do we do photo mode? Um, now we need something to, eh, this ain't working. Where are the, the new things they did? Character, Andresia. Show character, expression, happy, pose, fighting, kneeling, kneeling is not a good one to put on YouTube, <laughs> wave, what's up, that looks good, I like that one. That looks good. Hands on hips, that's pretty close, eh? Alright, what about my expression? Amused, angry, odd, boggled? Who comes up with this? Who comes up with this stuff? Dying? Ah, uh, flirt's a good one. Let's give Andresia another one, too. We'll, we'll do a flirt with her, too, huh? Nah, we'll leave it like this. Alright, so... How do you take the picture? Take a photo. Alright. We're good. Now, what I want to do is... Let's do a save here. Quick save. 
Actually, I'll just do a, I'll do a hard save on the beach here. The game is really not over till you run the credits. So let's get dressed. Get back in first person here. Let's get our clothes back on. And I'll <laughs> back up from person. me. What have you got for me? I want to get your clothes back on. We're going to go for a little ride. I don't know if she can come with me, though. Uh, where's her clothes? So she... Oh, that's her weapon. Uh, unequip. I don't know what that just did. Okay, put your clothes back Goodbye, on. All right. Dearest. Goodbye. Let's get my shit back on. The operative suit. No, 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 no. We want the business suit. Here we go. All right, so let's go back to the ship. Which is right here. Razor leaf. Razor leaf. <laughs> That's pretty good. All right. So we're going to go through the Unity. And I just want to see do another hard save right here. I think this is a better place to do a hard save. All right, so we want to build this. Build it. All right. So let's just jump somewhere. Doesn't matter where, I guess. So let's uh, let's just jump to. It doesn't matter, I guess. We just go anywhere. Go back to Alpha. Alpha Centauri. Let's go here. I think this works. Yep. Grav jumping is disabled. Why is it disabled? I guess I gotta go up in space. I can't. That's right. I can't just do this. We gotta. We have to go up in space and jump from there. Ship's ready. Retros. Orbit achieved. Stabilizing. All right. Oh, there it goes. Okay, I didn't have to do anything. Okay, take everybody with me. I think you have to talk to yourself again, but I'm not sure. I can't go around myself, can I? Once you are reborn, there is no going back. I can go back. I would save. Although you leave this universe behind, a new universe awaits you. Who will you be in this one? What choices will you make?
music. this roll because I think there's a uh, there's a point where you could skip it and then I don't know what happens when you skip it that's what I want to see I guess it puts you right back in the world and you get to start over which is kind of weird I mean you would think that uh, once the credits roll you can go back to your other world and then decide whether you want to do a new game plus or not. I guess it doesn't matter. Either way. Come on. I know there's a skip here somewhere. But anyway, since this is rolling, like I was talking about before, I'm not sure what my next game is going to be. I'm not going to mess with this anymore right now. Even new game plus is going to take a little bit of... I have to study that and see what's going on with that. And I don't know when I'll do that. Here we go. Now we can skip it. Oh, we're in a starborn ship. This is what you have become, a being who has touched the infinite. Your stay is over, but will begin anew. In this universe and countless others, you remember all you have learned, your possessions, and everyone you knew have been left behind. Explore this new universe and all it offers, and perhaps take another trip through the unity. Huh. Narian. So this is what it looks like inside of the Starborn ship. Pretty sparse, isn't it? What's this? Oh. Cargo hold. Okay. This is a bizarre ship. I mean, really. I can see why people are not enamored with it. must be the captain's locker. Yeah, there's no bed in here, is there? You can't sleep in it. Okay, so where are we? Oh, and there's my new suit. But everything I have is gone. Interesting, except your skills are all still there. You still have all your skills. And you have no money. All my money's gone too. No credits. What else did they say you get to keep? You get to keep something. One small step. It says go to the lodge. Okay. Or something else. You get to keep all your skill points. And you get to keep... I don't even have my powers. Oh, I do have my powers. Okay, that's good. You get to keep your powers. Okay. And I have the Guardian ship, huh? This thing has... You can put five, a crew of five in here, huh? The Class A ship has a 30-year light range. Yeah, that's interesting. Weapons suck. Good shield. 
Now, I'm guessing you probably can't modify this. That wouldn't make any sense, would it? All right. Whoa, that looks pretty crazy. So where are we at? I was trying to see where I was at. That's what I was doing. I got. We are in the Narian system. Oops. Alpha Centauri. So we haven't been to any of these planets now. Cheyenne is still there. Vessel 3B is up here somewhere. Here, is this it? Alpha Beta. I don't know how much of this has changed. I don't see Bessel. We got Alpha Centauri. There's Bessel. Okay. Narian. Alright. So we're going to call it. This is it. It has been fun. It's been... I like the game. I don't care what anybody says. I mean, it's a fun game. You just got to play it. You know, people always... I don't know what people are looking for in video games sometimes. If you just play the game... I mean... It's, a, it's fun. <laughs> I think it's a lot of fun. And I hope I'm in the majority, not the minority. Because they still got a little bit of work to do to it. Whether they will or not, Bethesda's, like I said, Bethesda's not known for working a whole lot. I and mean, they leave it to the community to fix their games, which that doesn't do me any good. Because playing on console, I don't mess with uh, mods or anything. So, But it was a lot of fun. And I appreciate all the comments and the new subscribers that we got on board to the channel. It's, that's all awesome. And all the people watched. Everybody that joined in and watched and played along with me. So, like I said, well, I'll come up with something else. I'm thinking maybe Fallout 4 might be on the horizon. Um, we am going to be taking a little vacation in a couple weeks. So I don't know if we'll if not have any videos for a couple weeks. And uh, Fallout 4 may not be it, but there's been a, seemed to be a real renewed interest in Fallout 4 on YouTube. There's a lot of people, a lot of people playing it again which I find that pretty interesting I don't know if that's because of Starfield or what and also Horizon Forbidden West apparently they just ported that to PC so people are playing it on PC now which I think is very cool I think it's pretty awesome that they did that so we're going to call it right here on the bridge of the starship whatever it's called I don't know what it's called and uh well We'll see you, hopefully, in the next game. So, if you're watching, thanks for watching. See you.